Job Brothers and Co. Limited, formerly Bully, Job and Company, Bully, Job and Cross, Job Brothers, commonly referred to as Jobs, was a colony of Newfoundland-based mercantile empire that spanned three centuries. The main business of the company centered on production and development of fisheries rather than trading. The Job Brothers & Co. Limited letterhead, however, self-describes the company as «steamship owners, general merchants, agents, and importers» as well as «exporters of dried cod fish, herring, salmon, lobsters, seal skins, whalebone fertilizers, cod oil, medicinal cod liver oil, seal and whale oil». As president of Jobs Brothers, Hazen Russell had the company's vessel, Blue Peter, outfitted as the first floating, frozen fish processing factory in the world. Early history The business originated around 1750 with John Bully of Tynemouth, Devon as the sole proprietor. Eventually, Bully's son, Samuel took over the business. When his daughter Sarah married John Job born Hackham, Devon in 1789, Bully made Job his partner in the newly formed company, Bully, Job and Company. The company's main division focused on the fish trade, including the purchase and export of cod fish, with fishermen or other traders as clients. Another division handled the shipping and outfitting of vessels that participated in spring seal hunting. The company and its partnerships evolved over time. In 1808, when Nathan Parker joined the company, it was renamed Parker, Bully and Job. Within the next 12 years, when Parker retired and James Cross of Liverpool joined the company, it was renamed Bully, Job and Cross. In 1834, at age 15, Stephen Rendell, later a merchant and politician, apprenticed with Jobs. An 1839 reorganization put Robert Job and Thomas Bully Job in charge of Bully, Job and Company in St. John's, while Samuel Job and John Job Jr. were in charge of Job Brothers in Liverpool, England. About the same time, with the retirement of Thomas Bully, the company was renamed Job Brothers. The partnership included the four sons of John Job, Robert Job, Thomas Bully Job, Samuel Job and John Job. Others joined the firm in the next few years thus leading to its renaming as Job Brothers & Company. Other partnerships ensued over the next century. Between 1867 and 1872, Jobs built three large wooden walls, wooden hulled naval vessels that were used for sealing, including Neptune, at the same time also establishing plants at Bay Bulls, Catalina, and Lance au Lou that converted fish offal into fertilizer. In the last century, Jobs pioneered artificial fish drying at its plants in Blanc Sablin, Lance au Lou, and Forto. Its steamship, Blue Peter, was the first floating, frozen fish processing outfit in Newfoundland. Other diversification included manufacturing, mining, processing, and timber. Jobs bought Hector around 1871, rebuilt her and renamed her Diana. By 1898, it had acquired another steamer, Nimrod. Topic later years In 1909, Eric broke her shaft and had to be tugged by another Jobs vessel, Beothic. In the same year, Thomas Raffles Job, son of Thomas Bully Job, Samuel Ernest Job, William Carson Job, and Robert Brown Job incorporated Job Brothers and Co. Limited. Thomas Raffles Job, grandson of the original John Job, became its president. 
The other three family members, great-grandsons of John Job, became the directors. In 1912, Jobs had a new steel steamer, Nascopi. After Thomas Raffles Job died in 1917, William Carson Job became the company's second president. With William Carson Job's retirement in 1919, Robert Brown Job became the company's third president. In 1928, the Hudson's Bay Company purchased a majority of the company's shares but these were reacquired by Jobs 15 years later. In 1945, North Atlantic Fisheries purchased 60% of Jobs shares. Other Jobs plants were sold in the next two decades. The remaining Jobs plant in St. John's closed operations in 1967, 